Hello, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance. Well, I I managed to do this yesterday, but I wasn't very happy with the episode length or my commentary, so I've decided to do it again. It's kind of touch and go whether I'll beat the boss or not, but I'm at least going to give it a good try. Very hard boss, this. Exact! We've reached the antenna. Roger that. Over. There's also a lot of uh, dialogue, unfortunately. Never mind. At least I have some idea how to beat the boss. Now! Destroy the antenna! Oh, I wish it was that simple. But this being Final Fantasy V, of course it isn't. You think it'll be that easy? Think again. Now pay with your blood. I don't know if that's the boss saying it to us or, or what. Yeah, this thing tends to do that. Okay, it starts to drag the characters towards it. And when that happens, you really need to revive the characters, because uh, if they get too close to it, they get spoiled up, and they sort of, they get returned once the episode's over, once, once the battle's over, but um, they're, they're out for the duration of the battle, basically. Actually, it would make a lot more sense for me to um, physically attack at Homosis. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, so yeah, Bio works quite well, uh, Titan works quite well. Uh, since I don't have any more Phoenix Downs, this is a great pity, but I'm not I don't I don't want to go back down to the bottom of the tower. Assuming I can do that anyway. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you're gonna want to raise them if, like me, you've run out of items. And you're gonna want to do it as quickly as possible because Faris is already being dragged quite close. I suppose you can try using slow, but I'm not sure it actually works. And it doesn't work that well, even if it works, I think. Basically, uh, Art Moss can, can pretty much ignore slow, so I think it can make it so fast again. And I've no ether either. Oh, sugar. Okay, well, I guess that's going to make things awkward. I guess I put the reflect ring. Um, but if I don't, uh, if I don't destroy him this time, I can always uh, I can always restart and this time not put the reflect ring on Bart. This is the problem. Bart. Now I don't think I can I can get him to. No, I can't. I can't. I can't get Bart's back. He's gone now. See, so, yeah, I can give the others health because uh, Atmos's attacks don't always destroy. So Atmos is going to drag Bart's away. I think that much is clear. I suppose I'll get to show off what that's like. It takes a lot of titans to defeat this thing, but it will be defeated eventually. I 
I don't want to overuse Lens magic, I'm going to have to check to make sure I can keep on doing this. Because I highly doubt that there won't be any other characters who get uh, knocked unconscious. Alright, see, MP35 out of 204. I'm gonna save that for reviving characters. I'm hoping that uh, I can destroy this thing. Actually, it doesn't matter whether it drags part off or not, because there's nothing I can do with that anyway. I think I'm just gonna shut up now, and uh, I might skip some of the battle. I'm not sure it off, I'm not sure. Yep, that's what happens. Obviously, if you end up with none, then... Okay, and since I have no more Phoenix down, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to have to keep attacking it with these two. Alright, there we go. As I said, hard boss. The battery refactoring has been pretty useless so far. Admittedly, I sort of had it on the wrong character, I think, but still, not too helpful. And that's how it's done. Exact, can you hear me? It's done, we destroyed the antenna. No way out. Hello, things are getting hot down here. You need to hurry and make your escape. The Azzy Fee's gone into a cursed loop. It's only a matter of time before it blows. The Wind Drake, he can fly us out. I'm not sure why he didn't fly us up here. I mean, I. I get that there are defences, I suppose it's possible that the underground section of the tower has not been protected by the barrier, whereas the other sections were. I hope that's the explanation, it isn't just that the game wanted to make things harder for us. Exact, we're coming to get you. No, don't come down here. Wait for me in the sub, and I'll catch up with you, just go. Idiot, he's gonna die, but I'm not gonna let him. Good leaf, it's too dangerous. I don't care. You know, it really is too dangerous. If I had more Phoenix Downs and Ethers and stuff like that, that would have been a much more easy battle against the boss. Lena, you and Faris go ahead. Just, just jump off there and hope that you land on the Windrake. Exact. You knew all along something like this would happen, didn't you? You knew, and still you sacrificed yourself. Galoof, wait for me in the sup. Promise me you'll go. Over and out. Damn it, Exact. Of course I knew. This was my plan. How could I not? But it would have been too dangerous for any of you to go in my stead. Four new warriors have been chosen by the crystals. They must be the ones to fight Axe Death and talk to themselves incessantly. 
Good evening, Bart's Lena Forest. The West is up to you, including many monologues like this one. Don't worry, I'll be always be with you when you need me. Sort of. Not physically. Obviously. Damn it, exact! Deloof, I'm sorry. Again, we, we sincerely hope that he lands on the Windrake. Ugh. His ass probably hurts a lot. But, take me to the sub. Deloof, exact. We made a promise. Please, let me keep it. We'd need to go to the sub anyway. So, yeah, where can the shield's gone now? Barrier. Whatever. Alright, let's go and rest for a bit. I sincerely hope that one of them knows how to uh, drive the submarine. Uh, we all live in a yard submarine. Had to say, I couldn't really resist, to be honest. Exact, you ass. Always trying to play the hero even to the end. If you go up to him when his head isn't lowered, uh, I found this out when I the first time I tried to record this, uh, he just says, We're going to wait for a minute longer. With a submarine, I reckon it should be an easy task to locate Hido's cave. Yeah, a lot easier than swimming. How's he holding up? He'll be alright. He just needs her to rest. Alright, we've got to keep moving. <sighs> okay, so Bart's can drive a submarine. So that uh, the cave that Kaido should be in is the glowing one in the middle there. Of course there's two others. So I'm... I suppose I'm going to try to work out which one we should be going for. Um. At least I'm going in the right direction now. I did come up into a cave. Um, oh right, that's that's the cave that uh, Roots presumably got the hydro in it. But I'm not 100% sure this is where we need to go. So I'm going to check it out, 
open and see what's here. I don't want to lose the Marbeche to go into these other two places, but then I don't know if we're supposed to go there yet or not. I don't want to waste a possible side quest. I suppose I can probably go back and get a last whenever I want. I'm assuming... Who knows what's going to happen though. I don't know if I would actually work in an um, underground cave. Well, obviously far would work. I'm just not sure how good an idea it would be to set one off in, in this environment. Oh, of course, um, he hasn't, he didn't get to rest, did he? Okay, this is my fault, I'm going to have to go back into the sub again. Never mind, I will, uh, after this, this battle is done, I will see you in a minute, but for now, I need to go back. Potion is helpful as a chocolate fire guard at this point. Wow, well, somebody's been here. It's empty. Why? This one's got a big stone inside. No. Frights is heavy. I'm not sure that no was quite right. Never mind. Ah, I. Huh. I don't know. I guess this is just an ordinary enemy. Um. I can find out with Libra. Ah, well, this should work quite well. Ah, oh, that's interesting. We've got a feeling enchanted funds with on board fire, but I'm wrong. It'd be useful, hint hint, if Bart could learn transform. I don't have a water summon thing yet.
Ah, I can stone pierce to seal me in this room. Ah, stuff of light sounds interesting. I'm not very happy with the flight ring. Ring. Respect. Yes, he can use stuff. She can use stuff. Right. About the stone with a chain, does it do anything? see what this does, but... You know what? I... This isn't where I want to go. I... I have lots of strategy guide. I admit, yesterday when I was having problems with beating that boss, I did have a look. There's somewhere specific I want to go, and I'm pretty certain this is it. So, I'm gonna head there and then end the episode, I think. I know that makes all of that seem pointless, but it wasn't pointless. We discovered some new creases and we got stuff light, and I couldn't be certain until right now that it wasn't where I want to go. these yesterday, they're worth using fighting on. Trust me, they are very annoying. Well, they're level 44 for starters. But they they do some very nasty status affecting um, attacks. Including making characters just disappear.
just want to check that I actually do have all of my characters. Yes, I do. Ah. Okay, this is probably where I wanted to get to, and if not, wow. This is a place. And the episode's been going on for a while. So I'm going to leave it there, and in the next episode I will explore this place, and at some point I will be getting back to that cave uh, with the stone in it that I suspect will lead us eventually to the Hydo. But uh, for now, um, goodbye.